Hi, this is Nicole Hetty from Paper Tray Ink, and today I was going to show you a little bit about our favorite box nine dies. These actually make little baskets that are perfect for Easter and spring and really any occasion. And what's cool about these is that you can actually create two different sizes of baskets with this one die set. So I'm going to start out by showing you how to make the smallest basket, and it's really, really easy. Uh, the smallest basket actually only uses a half a sheet of cardstock um, that measures uh, five and a half inches by eight and a half inches, and you can get all the pieces you need out of half of a sheet. So that makes it really inexpensive to make these. Um, what you will need to cut is one of these side pieces, one of the tabbed bottoms, one of the solid bottoms, and one of the handle. And as you can see again, um, all of those pieces you can cut out of a half a sheet. So here's all my pieces right here that I've cut from Aquamis cardstock. And I'm going to show you just how quick and easy it is to put this together. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to adhere the solid bottom of the basket onto the tabbed bottom. And the reason is this, this is done this way is it makes it easier and kind of foolproof to get the tabs folded up correctly. So once I have this positioned um, right on to the tabbed bottom, I'm going to just go ahead and go around and use the edge of the solid bottom to fold everything up perfectly. So fold it all up right along the edge of the solid bottom. like this. You're just going to curve all of those little tabs upwards like that. So you end up with something that looks like this. Very, very easy. And the next thing I'm going to do is going to work with the side piece and I'm actually going to run a piece of score tape. I'm using quarter inch score tape and I'm going to run that along the bottom. You don't need to go up into that tab right there. Just run a piece along the inside edge of the side, just like that. And what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna want to start with the straight edge and you're going to want to line that up in the center of one of the big side tabs. Now you don't have to line it up this way, but I like the way it looks a bit better this way. So after you have that lined up in the middle like that, you're just going to roll the edge of this along and adhere it. To that score tape. And once you've made it all the way around, your little holes will line up perfectly. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some little brads to hold the sides together. And you don't have to um, you don't have to use brads. I mean, you could stitch a little button in place there. Um, there's really a variety of things that you could do with it, but I think it's easiest just to use some little brads. Now, before I put the top one on, I'm actually going to go ahead and attach the handle here. And you don't have to attach the handle here. You could make it go across the, from the shorter sides, but I kind of like the way it looked going this way. Since I'm putting on the handle this way, I am going to go ahead and I'm going to put a hole in the center side. With the little crocodile tool there. And now I'm going to line up the 
handle and attach the side with another little brad. And as you can see, what you end up with is a really adorable little basket complete with a handle. It is the same side that was used on the smaller basket except this time you need to cut two of them. You need to once again cut a handle and you need to cut one large tabbed bottom and one large solid bottom. And these dies were sized just right so you can get one basket out of one sheet of cardstock. You're going to want to cut in half and get the two bottoms out of one half and the other half get the two sides and the handle. So it makes it inexpensive to uh, mass produce these. Now I'm going to do pretty much the same process that I used on the smaller basket. It's just on a larger scale now. I'm going to go ahead and adhere the solid bottom onto the tabbed bottom. And I'm going to fold all of these little tabs up and around the solid bottom. And I love how easy it is to fold these perfectly every time because of that solid bottom laid on top there. Now this time before we put score tape on, I'm going to go ahead and adhere well, not adhere, but rather affix two of the two sides together. And I'm using brads again. Put all three of those in there. And the top, the top one I'm going to put on fairly loosely because I will be taking this out a bit later to put the Put the handle in. It's a bit cumbersome to put it on right now. So I've got the two sides together like this and I love that little scalloped tab detail. It reminds me of a shaker box. So now I'm going to run score tape down the length of this just like I did last time. And like I said last time, you don't need to go up into that little tab where it starts curving up. Just cover the flat part of the strip. I'm going to remove the wax backing. And again, I'm going to line up the holes in the middle of the widest tab on one of the long sides. start folding this around and the brads that I put in should end up right in the center of the big tab on the opposite side continue around and get everything hooked up here in the front now I have the second side uh, mostly attached together with the brads and what I'm going to do now is put on the handle and it's much the same way that I did it on the first basket. I'm going to attach it with the brad at the top there and then on the other side I'm going to take this brad out again and go ahead and put And there you see it's a small shaker style basket complete with handle.